Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Today I share with you how I made this delicious, yummy, juicy Isieu recipe. Very quick, very tasty, very delicious, very sumptuous. You will love it guys. If you want to know how to make a delicious Isieu for your family, I just want you to stay till the end of this video. You will love it. It came out so delicious. I enjoyed it. My daughter enjoyed it. I mean, it was so good. I like to make it say at the comfort of my home. I've had several experiences with Isiu. Very ugly experiences when I ate Isiu outside my home, out of incitement. But I choose to make it simple for myself and it's always come out delicious. Stay tuned. So guys, let's see if our isil is nicely cooked. Oh yeah. Can you see? It's nicely cooked and tender. If you want to enjoy isil, guys, make sure you cook it until it is completely soft. Like very, very soft. If it's not very, very soft, you're not going to enjoy isil. It has to be very, very tender. I love to prepare it myself. Yes. I love Isieru a lot. I ate a lot of it because my dad loves Isieru a lot. My mom always make a, my mom always make Isieru a lot of time for my dad, especially when he's coming back from his trip and he just do all this to give him a very special treatment. And yeah. So here is our Isieru nicely cooked. I'm going to take out all of these bones you're seeing. All of these bones. I'm going to take them out. All of these bones. I don't want to deal with bones yes so i'll take out all of the bones and then i'll start mixing so guys here is my odo we call it mortar in english if i'm correct let me know so i'm going to pound my stuffs if you want to enjoy isiego recipe go ahead and smoke your ehuru this is called traditional nutmeg if i'm not mistaken yes so just go ahead smoke it nicely as you can see i have gone ahead to smoke it very well i have one pepper here just going to go ahead and throw it in my mortar so I'll add it in my mortar like so so here is my ehuru which is my traditional nutmeg i'm going to pound this now until it is completely smooth when you smoke it it gives you a better aroma and then when you pound it it comes out very smooth and very easy you know unlike when you don't smoke it so this is a tip and the trick of ehuru can you see how nice and smooth it's guys this is my oil I like to toast to my oil. I'm going to add it in. All you need to do is just toast your oil for one minute and that's it. That way you are eating, you know, healthy and not eating oil that is salty. Next is my ungo. You want to add your ungo like this. Can you see? It started forming. is your ungo. The next thing you want to do is to mix your ungo. Can you see how it has set? This is looking very, very beautiful and delicious. Can you see? This is how you want your ungo to look. At this point, you haven't added any salt. You haven't added any maggi. Remember, you have maggi in your isiegu. You have salt in your isiegu. But with this ungo, don't add any salt, don't add any maggi yet. All I started with is my ehuru, my smoked ehuru, my fresh pepper, because I want a little fresh pepper, which I added just one. And then I toasted my palm oil, and here I'm mixing it. After adding my ungo, I am mixing it. So you can see, mix it nicely. Mix, 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 mix. Just keep on mixing before you start adding your isieu mix 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 
all you want to do is keep mixing until you have a lovely consistency this is it at this point if you have your goat's brain you can add your goat brain and mix it together but my goat brain brain is mixed with this um, goat meat so i'm just going to start adding my goat meat into this place which is my mortar original <clears throat> way my mom used to make goat's head in the mortar and trust me you cannot beat that taste for some reason it has a very special taste it used to give if you can attest to that, let me see your comment in the comment section. I'm going to start adding my goats. When you're making this here, guys, you want to make sure you select the eyes, the ear. So this is the ear. I'm going to be showing you as I, as I see those things. The eye, the ear, the tongue. Can you see? This is the tail, the goat tail. This is just a mixture of all manner of parts of goats, but especially the goat's head. See, you can see the eyes. So guys, this is the eyes, goat eyes. So guys, we still have some ears. I'm going to add it in. You can see the color of our isiru. I'm going to add the juice of this isiru. So guys, next thing you want to go in with is your crayfish and your pepper. If you want to add Cameroon pepper, go ahead and add it in. You all know I like spicy. So just mix it in at this point. The crayfish will give it a very lovely taste. And here, our isiru is ready. If you love to warm it up, that's fine. Like, I'm going to warm it up before I start eating. Can you see that isiru recipe? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is how you can make your isiru at the comfort of your home. Just give your husband a treat, you know. Enjoy your family in the way you can. Let them enjoy the blessing of God upon your life, you know. What you can do, just do it to make them happy. So guys, here is our Isewu. Done. Well done and dusted. So I'm going to serve this and let you see. But before then, I'm going to warm it up anyways. And then I'll serve this deliciousness. Have you enjoyed this Isiru recipe? Let me know in that comment section. I just went about it the way my mother used to make her Isiru, Uba, Akide, and all that. I use Odo. Guys, I'm going to warm it up nicely before we start eating. This is how we used to serve it. Look at that. Look at this is here. Man, this is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Can you see? It's so juicy. Can you see the juice? Can you see the juice, guys? This is what you want to enjoy. Oh my goodness. I'll be licking my fingers in a minute. So I'll add everything here. Look at the eyes, the ears, and everything. I need to enjoy myself, man. This is how I give myself a treat too. Yes. I'm going to serve it in a minute. Our issue is ready. Warmed. Very, very soft and very delicious. I'll show you how I'm going to serve this to my family. I hope you have loved this video. If you have, please give it a massive thumbs up. Share to your friends and loved ones. This will be helpful to them. In case they want to make it safe for their family, friends, and loved ones. Please, thank you so much for all your love and support. I really do appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I will show you how I'm going to serve this. 
I just want to use this medium to say thank you to each and every one of you for your love and support. Words cannot be enough to appreciate you guys. Like, I am so, so grateful. Gucci's team, Gucci's fame. I am grateful to all of my wonderful subscribers, to all of my incredible new subscribers, to all the YouTubers, the, all the content creators who watch me and give me wonderful, lovely, beautiful, encouraging words. I am grateful and I pray that this street will pay each and every one of us. God bless you. Give it a massive thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Mwah.